opportunity to revise the chapter which is vitamin. A vitamin is an organic molecule which is an essential macronutrient that an organism needs in a small quantity for the proper functioning of its metabolism. There are basically two types of vitamins, water soluble vitamin and fat soluble vitamin. Vitamin which is the dissolving water is known as water soluble vitamin and the vitamin which is the dissolving fat is known as fat soluble vitamin. So can anyone tell me that who has given the word vitamin and in which year? Yes, yeah, 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 please. Thank you for asking such a nice question. So as you ask that, who has given the word vitamin? The answer is the word vitamin was given by Kashmir in 1900. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely right. Kashmir Funk was a biochemist who has given the word vitamin in 1911. He was born in the year 1884 in Poland and died in 1967. So firstly, I would love to tell you about water-soluble vitamin in which the first one is vitamin B1. So the chemical name of vitamin B1 is thymine and we get vitamin B1 from sunflower seed, beet, peas, soya bean, etc. And its hypovitaminosis is very very. So who will tell me the types of very very? Yes, Manali, please. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Good morning to my respected sir, respected ma'am and all of you. Appi, as you have asked the question that what are the types of beriberi? There are two types of beriberi, the wet beriberi and the dry beriberi. The wet beriberi affects the heart and circulatory system, while the dry beriberi damages nerve that lead muscle paralysis. Thank you. Yes, man, you are truly right. And we can easily know that we are suffering from this beriberi disease by the symptoms like loss of appetite, weakness in limbs, shortness in breath, and etc. And it also doesn't have any hypervitaminosis. Hypervitaminosis means the deficiency disease which occur due to the lack of vitamin in our body and hypervitaminosis means the toxicity which occur due to the taking of extra doses of vitamin. So move to the next which is vitamin B2. So the chemical name of vitamin B2 is riboflavin and we get vitamin B2 from almond, mushroom, soya bean, etc. And due to the lack of vitamin B2, the riboflavinosis occur which is a nutritional deficiency disease and the symptoms of this disease are cracks, glossitis of tongue, anxiety, etc. And it also doesn't have any toxicity. Come to the next which is vitamin B3. So the chemical name of vitamin B3 is niacin. And we get vitamin B3 from brown rice, corn, potatoes, etc. And its deficiency disease is pellagra. Its symptoms are diarrhea, uh, fatigue, headache, etc. And it also doesn't have any hypervitaminosis. Come to the next which is vitamin B5. So who will tell me the chemical name of vitamin B5? Yes, I'll show you, please. Thank you for this great chance. Good morning, respected sir, teachers, and all present here. As well as my question, that what is the chemical name of vitamin B5? The chemical name of vitamin B5 is benzoic acid. Yes, sir, Fusha, you are truly right, and uh, you may have seen. And the sources of vitamin B5 are citrus fruit, red and green pepper, sweet and white potatoes, etc. And in human being, the deficiency disease of vitamin B5 is very rare. Malnutrition, the tingling of hands and feet takes place, and it also doesn't have any toxicity. So, come to the next, which is vitamin B6. So, who can explain vitamin B6? Yes, who are you, please? Thank you for asking such a beautiful question. The chemical name of vitamin B6 is the chemical name of vitamin B6 thyroxin, and the source of vitamin B6 are whole wheat brown rice, potatoes, tomatoes, butter, and chicken, etc. And its hypovitaminosis as microcytic anemia, dermatitis, swollen tongue. And its hypervitaminosis is painful neurological symptoms. Yes, sir. Uh, you are absolutely right. So, as you have explained, so I think I should not repeat it again. You may have seen Umar. So, move to the next, which is vitamin B7. So, the chemical name of vitamin B7 is biotin. And we get vitamin B7 from uh, cereals, cheese, egg yolk, mushroom, etc. And its deficiency disease is anemia, lethargy, hair loss, etc. It also doesn't have any hypervitaminosis. Come to the next, which is vitamin B9. So the chemical name of vitamin B9 is folic acid or folate. So who will tell me the sources of vitamin B9? Yes, you can help me, please. Good morning, your respected sir, teachers, and all persons here. Thank you so much, Mama P, for asking me such a wonderful question. As you have asked the question that what are the sources of vitamin B9, 
So my answer is legumes, leafy green vegetables, citrus fruits, beets, nuts and seeds etc. are the some main sources of vitamin B9. Yes, Ibrahim, you gave the right answer and the deficiency disease of vitamin B9 is uh, and the deficiency disease of vitamin B9 is anemia which occurred due to the lack of hemoglobin in our body and it can cause heart diseases too. And it has hypervitaminosis which are diarrhea, abdominal cramps, rashes, sleep disorder, etc. Move to the next which is vitamin B12. The chemical name of vitamin B12 is cobalamin. And we get vitamin B12 from meat, egg, egg yolk, fruits, etc. And the deficiency disease of vitamin B12 is anemia. It also doesn't have any toxicity or hypervitaminosis. Move to the next which is vitamin C. So the chemical name of vitamin C is ascorbic acid. And we get vitamin C from citrus fruit, red and green pepper, sweet and white potatoes, etc. And its deficiency disease is scurvy. Its symptoms are gum bleeding, bleeding from skin, weakness, etc. Its hypervitaminosis are nausea and diarrhea. We have completed water soluble vitamin. Before going to the next, which is fat soluble vitamin, if you have any doubt, so you may raise your hands. Yes, we'll argue, please. Thank you for this great chance. Good morning, all of you. My question is to Mopi. What do we call the study of vitamin? Uh, thank you, Bilal, for asking me this question. So, we, uh, the study of vitamin is known as vitaminology. Is there anyone? Yes, ma'am, please. Thank you for the great chance. Good morning, respected, uh, good morning, respected sir, ma'am, and all present here. My question is to you, ma'am, okay? What do you mean by lethargy? Lethargy means downsideness, sleepness, and tiredness, and showing unconsciousness toward the work. Is there anyone? No? Okay. Come to the next which is vitamin A. So the chemical name of vitamin A is retinol. Vitamin A is a group of unsaturated nutritional organic compound which involve retinol, retinol and ret uh, retinoic acid with several pro-vitamin A carotenoids. And if I talk about sources, then the sources of vitamin A are uh, salt water fish, tomatoes, fruits, egg yolk, etc. And its deficiency disease is xerophthalmia which means dry eye abdominal dryness for the congestiva and the cornea of the eye. And there is one more disease of vitamin A which is night blindness. So who will tell the another name of night blindness? Yes, Adarshi, please. Thank you for the wonderful opportunity. Good morning, expected sir, expected teachers and all of you. So the another name of night blindness is Nectalopia. Yes, Adarshi, you're absolutely right. And we can easily know that we are suffering from this disease by the symptoms like dry eye, dry skin, trouble conceiving, delayed growth, etc. And its hypervitaminosis are vision problem, liver damage, and skull bone become soft in children. Now move to the next which is vitamin D. So the chemical name of vitamin D is calciferol. Vitamin D help our body to absorb calcium and we can get vitamin D from these several states. The first one is to throwing our body in the presence of sunlight and the second is from diet and the third is from supplements. So the sources of getting vitamin D from our diet are uh, liver, salt water fish, egg yolk, etc. And its deficiency disease is rickets in which bone becomes soft and wind in children and uh, uh, osteomalacia which cause weak bone, bone pain, muscle weakness, etc. So who will tell me the hypervitaminosis of vitamin D? Thank you, Mama P, for giving me this wonderful opportunity. As you have asked the question, the hypervitaminosis of vitamin D. The hypervitaminosis of vitamin D is hypercalcemia and its symptoms are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, weakness and constipation. Uh, yes, sir, I am. You may have said you are truly right. So move to the next, which is vitamin E. So the chemical name of vitamin E, vitamin e is tocopherol and tocotrienol. Vitamin E is a group of fat-soluble compound which include for tocopherol and for tocotrienol. It is better for maintaining healthy skin and its strong immune system. It is known for its antioxidant properties. It prevents hair loss. And if I talk about sources, so who will tell me the sources of vitamin E? Yes, talk here, you please. Thank you for asking me such a beautiful question. As you are that source of vitamin E, source of vitamin E, sun, green, vegetable oils, 
nuts and seed and green leafy vegetables. Most of you have seen, you are absolutely right. So its deficiency disease is uh, impaired immune response, vision problem and muscle weakness and pain. Its hypervitaminosis are prostate cancer in men, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, etc. Move to the next or the last, which is vitamin K. So the chemical name of vitamin K is quinones. Vitamin K is a group of fat-soluble vitamin. It plays a great role in blood clotting, bone metabolism, and regulating blood calcium level. Without vitamin K1, body cannot produce prothrombin, a clotting factor that is necessary for blood clotting and bone metabolism. There are two types of vitamin K. The first one is vitamin K1 and K2. So who will tell me the chemical name and the sources of vitamin K1 and K2? Highly amount of green leaf vegetables and vegetable oils, some fruited kiwi, pomegranates, peels, and avocados, etc. And the, coming to the next point, vitamin K2, its a chemical name is monoclinums. So its sources is egg, milk products, etc. Yes, I'm you have given right answer. So it's you may have seen its deficiency disease. Uh, its deficiency disease. Uh, in infants whereas it doesn't cause in adult and its deficiency uh, reduce the strength, bone strength and increase the risk of osteoporosis. So is there anyone who knows about osteoporosis? No one? Okay, let me. Osteoporosis is a disease in which in which bone deteriorate and become brittle and fragile due to low bone mass and low bone tissue. This condition is often known as silent disease because we cannot feel that our bone is getting weak. So at last, I would love to say thanks to my respected sir and respected teachers for giving me this auspicious opportunity. Thank you so much.